A Kansas City man accused of brutally attacking two women is now behind bars. In April, we told you about Rodney Johnson, who police say attacked his 74-year-old girlfriend. We learned today he was caught in Texas, accused of attacking another woman. 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson spoke exclusively with the latest victim. The pictures are hard to look at. Eyes swollen shut and bruising all over her face and body. He would hit me, you know, with his fist. I think my body went into shock mode after the first hit because I could see myself being hit, but I couldn't feel any pain. He would hit me in the top of my head and uh, so hard I would feel my brain swell. Jackie Banks is willing to share her story to spare other women the same pain. Her ex, Rodney Johnson, is charged with choking and assaulting her. Even though I know Rodney's in jail, I was afraid to sleep last night. Banks says she had no idea that Johnson faced domestic assault charges in Kansas City when she says he asked to move into her San Antonio apartment. She'll never forget what happened on May 29th. He wanted us to be back in a relationship. I told him that we could never be in a relationship again. Uh, he grabbed me, snatched me out the bed by my hair, drug me into the bathroom and, and continued to uh, beat me. For three and a half hours, he would choke me till I was unconscious. Her story reads eerily similar to FJC's April 2017 probable cause statement. Rodney Johnson is charged with domestic assault in Jackson County for allegedly beating his 74-year-old girlfriend and leaving her for dead. Her family spoke exclusively to 41 Action News and offered a $1,000 reward for Johnson's arrest. She had been um, brutalized. They were broken ribs. Um, there were bruising to the, the, the torso, the face, the arms, uh, just all over, and um, it just was horrible. Banks has lived in a domestic violence shelter for weeks. Last night, police in San Antonio arrested Johnson in her apartment. Now she wants Johnson to be charged with attempted murder. He should be tossed off to, I mean, charged with attempted murder simply because that's what he tried to do. He was choking me till I was unconscious. My will to live was the only thing that kept me alive. Lisa Benson, 41 Action News. Wow. Right, Johnson will have to face a judge in Bexar County, Texas, before being extradited back here to Kansas City. We will, of course, keep following this story and bring you updates as we get them.